If I can't find my wallet, I panic. But you'll be happy to know that after years of hard work and careful training, I've learned to look in all the normal places that I keep my wallet, plus two extra locations, and then I panic. <laughs> my wallet's just got so much stuff I don't want to lose. I, my mum used to say to me, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket, but you know how they carry eggs on a farm? <laughs> in a basket. <laughs> you don't see a guy at an egg factory half loading a semi trailer, saying to the driver, I'll take this half to market, then come back and get the rest. We don't want to put out all our eggs in one trailer. <laughs> I think everybody. Don't, don't hold it in, man, if you don't mind. <laughs> if you're the only one that was going to laugh at that and you hold it in, I'm going to go home and fucking cry. <laughs> I think everybody's got like a friend or a loved one that goes into a complete nervous breakdown when they can't find something. And what's the first thing you say to that person to help calm them down? Where'd you leave it? <laughs> if I knew where I left it, wouldn't be lost. Here's a tip, if you hate that, <laughs> sorry. There's just so many more uh, like helpful things you can say to someone than where did you leave it. Like if someone says to you, have you seen my keys? Say it's something constructive, like um, you're going to have to learn to live without them. <laughs> <laughs> or babe, where's my wallet? Just say, you don't need it. It's empty. <laughs> or honey, where are the kids? Who cares? Let's make more. <laughs> In all of human history, the, phrase, the question, where have you left it? Let's help people find what they're looking for exactly. Oh, never. <laughs> and is it that's not bad enough? What's the first thing you say to someone when they finally find what they're looking for? Oh, it's always in the last place you look. <laughs> I realised that because after I found it, cleverly, I stopped looking. <laughs> if you hate that just as much as me, here's a tip. After you find what you're looking for, just look in a few more places. <laughs> that way when someone inevitably says, oh, it's always in the last place you look, you'd be like, nope. <laughs> this was in the third last place I looked, <laughs> idiot. Some people are trying to find things that are a lot harder to find, like fame, fortune, or love. My wife, I was worried that uh, love would be in the last place I looked, which is why my wife and I have decided to keep looking. <laughs> I'll fuck that up, but it's a funny joke, I think. <laughs> I'll keep that one. Uh, some people, <laughs> some things you can see the lost even though no one's looking for them. You know, like the lost city of Atlantis. All right, that's not fair. There's probably someone out there looking for the lost city of Atlantis. But I think we can all agree that they really shouldn't be. <laughs> Do you think Zeus ever called his wife like, honey, have you seen Atlantis? Yeah, well, if I knew where I left it, it wouldn't be lost. <laughs> yeah, I'll get milk on the way home. <laughs> Imagine if they found the lost city of Atlantis. We'd have to go back to calling it Atlantis. <laughs> As you enter town, there'd be a welcome sign that says, now entering Atlantis, found, 2017. <laughs> it was in the last place we looked. <laughs> we won't find it though, because the, you know, the age of discovering big, exciting scientific dis discoveries are over, you know? Like 200 years ago, you could say that you discovered an entire continent, as long as you were the first white person to go and put a flag in it. <laughs> but scientific discoveries now are like small and specific, like scientists are like, Oh, we've discovered a new species of deep sea crab, but we can't show it to you because it's completely transparent. <laughs> but if we could show it to you, you'd notice that it's almost identical to the previously known species of deep sea crab, with the addition of slightly longer back legs. <laughs> and us, the public, are like, cool. <laughs> I mean, scientists are still looking for life on Mars. Like, really? There's nothing up there. We sent up a robot, it took some photos, there's no one there. Trust me, if there was any sign of intelligent life on Mars, a white person would have gone and put a flag in it. <laughs> so I want to clear something up uh, very quickly before I go. Uh, my name is Idris, and um, a lot of people get confused about my sexuality. Like, I've performed all over the world, and I've had to learn how to say that I'm not gay in every single language, except for Swedish. <laughs> because men in Sweden are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for having me.